Good morning. It is Sunday morning and I'm starting my day off with some grapes. A lot of grapes. I'm not going to eat all those grapes, but I am eating grapes. Zero points and I think I will make some coffee. just using one tablespoon of this in my coffee so coffee is zero points hey Eddie where are we going California Adventure yeah California Adventure here's my outfit of the day it's really hot like weirdly hot okay I love pumpkin Look at all the pumpkins. I'm not a Halloween lover, but I love pumpkins and I love anything that's fall. Look at those pumpkins, I love them. Oh, look at this, I love that too. He's so cute. <laughs> Ready? <laughs> You're speechless. Eddie's never speechless. Ever. Watch, you're gonna have to edit this one out. Okay, here we are yeah. in the lobby of the Grand California. It's beautiful. It's huge. We're looking for the pumpkin display. Oh, I think I see it. It's the Oogie Boogie. Yes, that is a live piano player. There's the Oogie Boogie. Oh my gosh. It smells so good. This is made of cake. Look. Halloween pump cake patch. It may seem quite scary. Our pump cake patch is all treats. Watch out for those bats and see if you can find the 13 hidden Mickeys. Share your pump cake patch photos with Grand Californian Hotel. If you want to grow your own pump cake patch, start with the below ingredients. 200 pounds of powdered sugar, 40 pounds of egg whites, 180 pounds of rice cereal, 80 pounds of marshmallows, 60 pounds of butter, 80 pounds of dark chocolate, 60 pounds of white chocolate, and 300 pounds of fondant. The Oogie Boogie Pumpkin is over four feet tall. That, you guys, is all edible. It smells really good. That's a lot of Rice Krispie Treat under there. That's so cool. Here's all the special Halloween treats. Look at that. We don't know if it's a macaron with filling. That looks amazing. Yeah. Might have to have one of those later. Look at these fingers. Yeah. Pretzel fingers. <laughs> what are these? Those must be like little confections. Those are super cute. I don't know if they're good yet. Not even. <laughs> <laughs> so sorry. Donuts are all sorry. They're not even. They're good. Donuts. They're good. What is that? Is that like a Halloween no. Pumpkin pound cake. I know it's pumpkin pound cake. It's closer to closing before I open it. What sample is this? Right there. What is Thanks. your sample? Monster donuts. Monster donuts, donuts huh? Here's 
the back of the pumpkin. It smells like so much sugar in here. What are you eating? Monster donut. How is the it? Frosting, the cake donut part is really good. I'd go for one of those. Yeah, we can go get one. Okay, here's my choice for salads. I got chicken Caesar, Italian chef, or boardwalk filled greens. I think I have to get the filled greens. But there's no chicken on it. Thank you. Okay, so I'm going to get this filled greens with no dressing. It has blue cheese, walnuts, tomatoes, cucumbers, dried cranberries. Oh, it's pecans, golden raisins, and it has a vinaigrette, but we'll do it without the vinaigrette. I wonder if they can add chicken too, that'd be awesome. Okay, so I got the salad, no dressing, and a side of chicken to put on top. Yeah, that's perfect. This Julie, I can do magic. Oh. Let me see your man. got a s'mores churro. Mm -mm -mm. It's really good. It's nice and warm. It's a regular churro with chocolate, marshmallow, and graham crackers on it. It's really, really good. Mm. Mm -mm. The tracker says one churro is four smart points. I don't believe that. Probably half of one of these large churros may be four smart points. I'm gonna count six points for my half of this s'mores churro. It's yummy. Look guys, it's a hidden Mickey. Happy fall. Look how pretty the winery looks. It's all lush and green. There's a few grapes. Not many. I think we're getting towards the end of the season. The grapes are really tiny like that. Very, very small grapes. Yeah. 
Which one of you is the hot shot racer? Now we're sharing a dill pickle for zero smart points. Walt's favorite time here in this park. Why do you say that? Look at all the people here. This is probably would have been Walt's most favorite time at California Adventure. Now we're going to try lemon soft serve. Half a cup, five smart points. Pretty good. We're leaving California Adventure and here is the beautiful, beautiful sunset. Oh. Okay, so tonight I'm making spaghetti squash egg cups. We're going to start with one spaghetti squash. It doesn't have to be huge. We're just going to use part of this, um, part of the flesh. So what I did was I stabbed it with a knife several times and then I put it in the microwave for 15 minutes. So I'm going to cut this open. It's cooled now. I'm going to cut it open and just slide all of the flesh out of it. Okay, here's the inside of the spaghetti squash and you can see this part here is the seeds that we need to take out the seeds and just put that in the garbage and then the rest of this flesh will just scoop out with a fork. Okay, so I've got half of the spaghetti squash here in the bowl, and now I have a small diced onion. I'm going to add the onion and one egg to the spaghetti squash. Okay, now I'm going to add a quarter cup of Kraft fat-free mozzarella 
and some pepper and then stir this all up. Okay, so there's our spaghetti squash mixture and everything in there is zero points. So, so far everything is zero. And now we're gonna push this into the muffin cups. I'm gonna use some spray oil inside the muffin tins and then we're gonna put the spaghetti squash into the muffin tin and make a little cup out of them. Okay, so here are the spaghetti squash cups and we're gonna bake these um, at 425 for 20 minutes. 425 for 20 minutes. Okay, here's our baked egg cups. These are the spaghetti squash egg cups. Now we need to add the egg. So I'm gonna crack an egg into each one of these. Okay, so I cracked an egg into each cup and then I sprinkled with a bit of red chili flakes. So I'm gonna put this now in the oven at 375 for eight minutes. You can actually use whatever seasoning you want. I just like spice, so I added the chili flakes. Okay, here's my finished spaghetti squash egg cups. These are so good. They are zero smart points each. And what I usually do is once they're cool, I put them in individual Ziploc bags and then I put some in the fridge, I put some in the freezer. They're super easy to just grab out and heat up. So they make for a really quick breakfast or even a dinner on a night when I really don't wanna cook. These are so good, so good. Give them a try. Okay, here's my dinner for tonight. So this is a soup that Eddie's mom made. It has ground beef, potatoes, tomatoes, I think some carrots, and also some broccoli in it. So I'm counting for three ounces of ground beef, which is six smart points, and a half cup of cooked potatoes, which is two smart points. So my soup, my dinner tonight is eight smart points.